facing one of the negative impacts from fracking and LNG export. Increased pipeline infrastructure and build out. Dominion's March 2013 analyst and investor meeting report states that Cove Point connects to major mid-Atlantic gas transmission systems and the Marcellus Shale. The report also shows that pipeline system passes right through Frederick County. Unfortunately, Myersville is near this major interstate pipeline. In support of that system, Dominion Transmission Inc., an affiliate of Dominion Cove Point, has proposed to build an oversized 16,000 horsepower gas compressor station at the gateway of my community and less than a mile from my elementary school. The true purpose of this station's excess capacity is Cove Point LNG export. There is no other justification for such a large station for a small amount of contracted gas. A similar compressor station proposed by Transcontinental requires only 4,000 horsepower. 75% less power to push 60% more volume. According to DTI, this station will belch 23 tons of nitric oxygen, nitrogen oxides, and over 53,000 tons of carbon dioxide per year. In, com in comparison to Frederick County, this reflects a 2,000% increase in carbon dioxide emissions in my town. In August 2013, MIT Air Quality Study, Maryland has the highest percentage of premature deaths due to long-term exposure of air pollution. All this reflects the health risks that threaten our most vulnerable and precious citizens, our children. Yeah. Right. When DTI did not get its way through the normal local zoning, they resorted to suing the town council's unanimous, unanimous rejection of DTI's application. DTI also took the Maryland Department of the Environment to court when MDE rightfully refused to process an invalid air permit application. Over more than two years, we have spent countless hours researching, engaging our local, state, and federal representatives and raised more than $10,000 to pay for legal expenses, yet our battle continues. We have filed suit in U.S. Court of Appeals to vacate FERC's improper certificate of public convenience that DTI has leveraged as federal preemption to bypass my local, my state codes and permits, as well as the Clean Air Act. Oh. But Myersville is just the beginning as other small communities across the state will face similar infrastructure build out in support of LNG export. We are all interconnected from the Marcellus and Utica fracking in Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania to the increased infrastructure across Maryland and Virginia in support of Dominion Co. Point profits of LNG export. Even though we face great odds, Though through this broad coalition, we will oppose Dominion's slash and burn strategy of environmental injustice. We shall not be silent. We shall act. We shall ensure the future health and safety of our children. Could you get it out right now? It's time to send a Facebook message to Governor O'Malley. So if you have a Facebook app, click on that app and search Martin O'Malley oh, nice. and leave him a message. It says Stop Coping. This is going to be so good. So go to your Facebook app, search Martin Woo. O'Malley, leave him a message, Stop Coping. If you prefer Twitter, go to at Governor O'Malley, no apostrophe, at Governor O'Malley and leave him a tweet, uh, a tweet telling him no co point. So do that right now um, as we get ready for the next speaker. I also want to say right after this rally, and we just have a couple more speakers, and you guys still look so fantastic. There's a party. Woo! Come celebrate with us afterwards um, at Max Restaurant and Bar. Um, yeah, wait a minute. What's it called? Is it